Hello, my name is Michael Whiteside. I'm an applications engineer here at Alley Cat Scientific. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your pressure controller to inverse control mode. Now let's get started. As you can see with this pressure controller, the control valve is located on the upstream side. This configuration provides downstream pressure control as the pressure will be regulated to whatever side the sensor is exposed to. We call this configuration a forward pressure controller. A valve located on the downstream side will result in upstream pressure control as the sensor is now exposed upstream. We call that configuration a back pressure controller. In forward pressure control, the valve will open up to increase pressure and close to decrease pressure. It is the opposite for back pressure control. With the valve on the downstream side, it will open up to decrease the upstream pressure and close to increase the pressure. Due to this inverse functionality, the device must be told how to properly control the valve position depending on the overall goal. If you plan on reconfiguring your forward pressure controller to a back pressure controller, the first step is to switch the valve position from upstream to downstream. A tutorial on this valve switching process is located on our website. Once the valve is switched, the control algorithm must be changed to inverse control. In order to change to inverse control, we will add 32,768 to register 20. In order to do this, we will hit Menu, About, Device State, and we see a list of registers here. We will hit Edit, Edit Register, and select Register 20. We will hit Set, and we see Register 20 currently has a value of 276. Adding 32,768 to this value results in 33,044. We will change this to 33,044. And we will hit set. And that is how to properly change your pressure controller to inverse control mode.